What's up you guys, Slash Boss here, and today is my HMSL predictions. Um, you all know, um, HMSL is coming up on the WWE Network. I can only say it once in this video, but, um, so guys, I'm really excited for this card. Um, there's going to be some good matches, probably some not good, so not good matches, but other than that, um, let's begin the 2021's uh, HMSL prediction. Okay guys, um, so... The first match we have over here is the Raw Women's Championship. We have uh, Rhea Ripley defending her championship inside the HNSL Shell structure against the Queen, Charlotte Flair. God, I hate Charlotte. She's so annoying. Like, every single time you see her, I get annoyed. Like, I get what she's doing. She's trying to get the belt again, like her usuals. I think it's time for her to give up on that opportunity. Just go for something else in WWE. Just do not have to be the champ every single time, you know? It doesn't make sense to me. But, um... I think Rhea Ripley is going to have a heck of a match. She'll be neck and neck both of the times um, in the ring. I think Rhea is going to absolutely destroy Charlotte. Um, Rhea is going to be a complete animal inside the cage. It's going to be, be an awesome match. I can't wait to see Rhea on Sunday. So, yeah, Rhea's going to retain, obviously. I think it would be awesome to have her um, retain for the whole summer series um, with all the fans. The fans definitely want to see Rhea Ripley with the title belt because it makes sense. It honestly makes sense to see her with the belt. So yeah, the next match is Drew uh, McIntyre taking on Bobby Lashley for the World Heavyweight Championship inside each of the cell. Um, I love what Bobby Lashley's doing, he's like the face of Raw, same with Drew McIntyre, I love Claymore Daddies, I love a good old Claymore, um, I think uh, Drew's gonna get some Claymore to Bobby Lashley, I think it's gonna be very hard to decide who the act exactly the one is, it's gonna be two behemoths crashing down at each other, neck and neck match, um, I think it'll be a really good match back and forth, I think, um, other than that, I think Drew McIntyre is going to win this. So I think Drew's going to have a really big debate in my opinion because there's a lot of back and forth Bobby Lashley because I like him as a champion, but the fans want to see Drew McIntyre as champ because we never actually got to see Drew McIntyre with his belt because of quarantine and no fans inside the arena but also on the TV. I think um, Claymore King will get the belt back so we can headline um, all the live events coming up because fans want to see him with the belt. and. I think it's time for Drew to be the king again. Come on, King Drew, everybody. Uh, next match up. over here, we have uh, Bianca Belair versus uh, Bailey for the SmackDown Women Championship inside the HNSL cage. Um, I like what Bianca Belair is doing. She got like a fresh side to SmackDown, you know, fresh side. Um, I like what her promos are going. I like her uh, moves in the ring. Her skill set's amazing. Um, Bailey is kind of like hit or miss these days. I like more of her younger self. Um, the whole heel gimmick is good, but I think Angelo has to go um, later this year. Hopefully that gimmick gets away from her, because I want more of an aggressive heel Bailey, because I like that. But I also really miss her face Bailey, because face Bailey is one I grew, kind of grew up watching with, as a wrestling fan. But I want to see that happening back in 2021. Yeah. So then the day, I think uh, Bronco Blair is going to win this one. It's going to be like a really fast-paced match, and I think, um, I think it'll be probably the weaker ones of the match. Maybe, because I'm not looking forward to it, this match might be really good. Uh, I just find out on Monday. Okay, um, now guys, we have an, another match over here. We have uh, Shayna Baszler versus uh, Alexa Bliss for uh, no title belt. Uh, this is Alexa versus Shayna. Um, this is kind of a weird situation because like Shayna kept on, um, it's kind of a weird feud to talk about because uh, Shayna kept on um, Interfering against Alexa's playground and Alexa's kind of like teasing her on the play. It was like the fiend. I love giggly fun Alexa Bliss. I love Alexa. One of my favorite wrestlers. I think Shannon's going to absolutely destroy her. I don't know. Who this is on the kickoff show, but I really want to see this on the mid card because I like I like what Alexa's mind games are. And hopefully we get the fiend um, revealed again for the tours because the fiend is something all the fans want to see live again. So, I'm hoping we get to see something kind of along the line with the Fiend, or what's next for Alexa and her mind games. Hopefully it'll be uh, more of the Green Mist and fireworks. It'll be a really cool, interesting match um, for Alexa. So, I think Alexa's going to win by mind games. Um, next up, we have Seth Rollins versus Cesaro. My favorite wrestler, Seth Rollins, taking on Cesaro. Holy cow, this feud is amazing. I just can't tell you how i'm um, excited i am for this match it's probably be the match of the night in my opinion because seth puts on a baller game cesaro put the baller game on it's gonna be a heck of a match um both of these guys are gonna clash down each other kick their butts easily this is gonna be a back and forth um if this is done right 
Uh, this is Unray. I think it'll be a very close match, and I just can't decide who I want to win this. But you know, I always have to pick Seth. But I think at the end of the day, for Money in the Bank, I think it'd be time for Cesaro to have the briefcase, or just uh, try to win the championship uh, at WrestleMania. Then I think that's what the plans are. I think, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, I'm going with Seth because he started with the feud. I think you should. Uh, Keep them down, these guys out. Um, I'd like to see what they want to do in the ring together. It's, it's gonna be a classic match. I can't wait to see Seth's. Um, I can't wait to see Seth's attire. Hopefully, something's good for HMSL. I'm hoping it's a good attire. I know he will put, probably pick something cool. Hopefully, not his, not his original classic gear he's wearing right now with red gear, like I call it. But I'm hoping Seth. Yeah, I'm very, very, very excited for this match. <laughs> if you guys can tell. Um, next up, we have Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. Uh, this match, I'm excited for this. This is a little bit old school vibes, a little bit classic NXT vibes here. Um, we have Kevin Owens, my boy, and Sami Zayn. Oh man, this is gonna be a hilarious match. I don't know how this match ended up on this card. I missed SmackDown it last night, so if anyone knows, leave in the comments. But I think Kevin Owens is gonna destroy, destroy Sami Zayn easily because this is what uh, Cesaro, I mean, Kevin Owens always does. He's gonna do cannonballs. You know, I think. Uh, same as would be the scaredy cat like he normally is. Um, I think Kevin's going to have an amazing match. I think it'll be a pretty good match. I think it'll be a quick match, um, indeed. So Kevin Owens will be winning this match. Okay, guys, we got some big news. Um, at HSL 945, you can see your boy Truly. I'm just very excited to be um, at the Thunderdome again for this pay-per-view. I just can't tell you how excited I am. Um, be back to the fans. So this is the last pay per view with the um, with the virtual fans until Money in the Bank. Very good to see the actual smiling faces again. Thank God. Yes, actual real good wrestling coming up soon with the fans. Because fans have the rights to say what we want, and I believe that. Other than that, I'm out of here. Hope you guys um, have an amazing day, and uh, thank you guys for watching. And um, hope you guys enjoy each in the cell. And just can't wait for Money in the Bank to see actual fans in an actual ladder match in the ring. Other than that, I'm an out of here and hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.